Hey everyone, Cam here. Do you drink caffeine? It wouldn't surprise me if you did. After all, it's the most popular drug in the world, consumed by people in all walks of life and all around the globe, gamers included. But could it make you a better gamer? Popular perception is that caffeine can give you a boost, decrease tiredness, and even enhance your performance. But what about pro gamers? Do they drink caffeine? And does it help them perform on match day? Uh, yes, I do drink caffeine. Um, I usually have a cup of coffee in the morning every day, and then I usually play right after that. But usually in my tournament matches, uh, I have a Red Bull or something. Uh, just, just give me energy right before the game. I think the caffeine definitely helps. It, uh, it's because then you're sitting at the computer 11 hours a day, right? and you have to really stay focused. And uh, this is overall keeps me awake, keeps me concentrated, and I can stay for longer and focus more. Uh, I rarely drink uh, caffeine, but when I do, it's like probably like one Red Bull or something before games. But generally, I don't drink anything. I just drink water. I don't know if it wakes me up or not. So I just, it doesn't really help me much, or that's what I think. And I just don't drink it because I think it's pointless. So that's what the gaming pros think. But what about the science? Well, three things you need in abundance for a good performance in almost any video game are speed, precision, and a good mental awareness. And while caffeine does improve motor skills, or the speed at which you can perform simple tasks, the weight of the evidence clearly shows that, counter to popular belief, it doesn't improve overall mental performance, it doesn't improve overall mental alertness, which I guess you could call focus, and it fails to reduce relative feelings of tiredness. In fact, that boost regular consumers of caffeine feel after drinking coffee or an energy drink is actually just the drug bringing us back up to the base level of alertness experienced by non-caffeine drinkers. So, why is this? Well, a recent scientific paper titled Faster But Not Smarter, produced by Bristol University, concluded that for people like me, who consume a mid to high range of caffeine, that's only one to two cups of coffee a day, by the way, all taking the drug really does for us is reverse the negative side effects of caffeine withdrawal. But what about people who never or rarely drink caffeine? Do they get any benefit from a one-off dose? Well, according to this research, no. They also don't experience any increase in mental alertness, performance, or any reduced feelings of sleepiness. Plus, any negligible benefits that these people might feel would certainly be offset by the negative side effects of increased anxiety and jitteriness, something which regular caffeine junkies develop a tolerance to. So, if you're a member of Team Solo Mid preparing for your next League of Legends Championship Series match, or anyone really gearing up for an important gaming session, what should you do? Well, if you regularly consume caffeine in your day-to-day -day life already, then having a dose on match day will ultimately help you perform better than if you didn't have one. That said though, your best bet is probably to give up caffeine altogether and completely avoid any chance of those nasty withdrawal symptoms. You know, if you go cold turkey, you could actually be over the worst of those symptoms in a couple of days and pretty much completely recovered in about a week. And if you're already in the I don't drink caffeine camp, then your best bet is to keep it that way. Sure, while a pre-game Red Bull might slightly increase the speed at which you could move the mouse, for example, the increased jitteriness would decrease the precision of your movements, and add to that, any anxiety would certainly decrease your ability to concentrate and sustain attention. Okay, well, let me know as always what you think of this episode in the comments down below, or by tweeting at me, at CamFrazRob, using the hashtag GSReality. Alright, I'll see you guys next Sunday.